Oh yeah, there she comes, here she comes. Mark my words, she's gonna be like, what the hell? I bought two. I went to get your drink and she was like, oh, here's your caramel crab. I was like, okay. She was like, oh, I accidentally made this thinking, but so you could have it. And I was like, okay. And she was like, oh, here's your water too. And I was like, okay. And everybody's been sitting here looking at me like I'm a goddamn weirdo because I'm sitting here drinking stuff. It's really good. You're double fisting? Super fail. You were supposed to come out here and freak out. Robert, why did you buy all these drinks? <laughs> you wouldn't do that. No shit. So we are in downtown Waikiki, back at the International Marketplace. We're gonna meet up with our tour group right now in front of Ross. Yep, we're going on a tour group, bro. Don't hate, it was 40 bucks on Groupon. Don't be a hater, okay? I think on this, in this particular instance, it was worth it for us to do a tour group. That way, like, we won't get lost and pay for parking and all that stuff. Well, technically, we still pay for parking, but it's still not bad. We'll see how it goes. I see our tour group over there chilling. There's already somebody staring at me because I'm vlogging. It's okay, though. See you guys there. I'll be taking you out there to the Arizona today. Can I turn off the light, guys? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay, let's get ourselves out there, guys. Have our poi donuts and coffee. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Is it amazing? What's it taste like? It's purple inside though, does it taste different? Mm -hmm. That's oh. good. All right. She's crap. This is why you come early. Not because she's tired, but I'll show you why you come early. And it goes all the way back there. Yeah, I'm very happy about that. You know, I'm all about the national anthem. It's very like, like I don't know how to like describe it. I remember when I was younger and I was like into, even though I got bad grades in social studies in grade school, but <laughs> but when I got to high school and I started like learning about U.S. history and stuff, that was when I could say I really like got into history. And when I heard about this place, I knew we had to come here. So we ended up getting a 7.30 ticket to a company is the bomb diggity. Not bad for 40 bucks. I'm gonna get on the first boat there and they're gonna play the national anthem and I'm a sucker for the national anthem. It really is. I love the national anthem. I wouldn't doubt it if he starts crying. <laughs> oh my god. Like when we go to baseball games or any event and they play the national anthem or somebody sings the national anthem, I just can't. My favorite one I have to say right now is when the Spurs were playing, I think it was Miami at the time, and this little Mexican kid. El Charo de Oro, Sebastian de la Cruz. Can you see? Sebastian de la Cruz, he sang it, he did a great job.
all these years reading about this place. and figures, I'm going to go through them very rapidly. I ask that you bear with me. Ship's complement, number of personnel assigned, 1,512. Casualty list, killed in action, 1,177. Those are the names that appear on the wall in the Shrine Room. 350 survivors. Of that number, 43 have returned to the ship after they passed on. This is an active cemetery. Next scheduled internment, December. The date and time of interment is at the discretion of the family on the day and time of their choosing. We will close the memorial to all guests. We will bring our colors to half staff and the memorial on that day will be theirs and theirs alone. 1.5 million gallons of crude oil in her fuel tanks. You can smell it this morning. She's still weeping. 75 years after she went to the bottom, she still cries seven quarts a day. It's amazing. So we just got back from the memorial and I must say it was after like years and years of reading about the things that happened here 76 years ago, it was very, very surreal to be over there. But it was a very beautiful memorial for all the people lost that day. Now we're going to the museum. Now we're going to go to the museum because I need to buy a set magnet for our collection. If you're in Hawaii, this is a definite must for you to come here. Like, you need to come here. was on the brink of achieving the improbable. So Shot. Give her back another shot. She's a native Hawaiian. She's telling me, or telling everybody stories about how, you know, pretty much the history of Hawaii, which I knew a lot about. Like, I know the country was annexed, and that it's pretty much a very similar story to the history of Native, of native American culture in the, in the mainland, where the government came in, essentially just took over, overthrew what was here, and said, This is what you got, and this is what's well, in charge now. Honestly, on the real, like, it's very sad to hear because, like, it's true, like, you know, the story of man comes to the land that they don't own, they set rules and regulations, and they conquer. It kind of just makes you upset, like, the way history has turned out. This place is still beautiful, it's still very amazing, and I love it. But when you hear stories like that, it just, it just upsets you because Native Hawaiians, they're essentially the minority in this place now. You know, the cost of living for them is just ridiculous. And just different things that just, very, it, they just upset you. I'm glad our tour guide is, She's very real, but no, she tells it straight out. Like, no, this is this is how it went down. They came, they annexed it, and you know what? It's, it's I, I love that that she pretty much did that. <laughs> Go on, baby. So we are waiting for this burrito joint right here to open up. Aloha Burrito Shop. It looks like they're opening up a little bit later today, but it's all good. Trying to get my babe right here laid. I'm just gonna BS around uh, Honolulu for a little while. Just going out to the shop right here. Always buy from local vendors, don't buy from a big store. Local vendors are life. Baila, 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 baila. baila. Oh, ho, ho, okay, okay. It's kind of burnt of me, but like how we're on our tour. She said that Bruno Mars went to high school here. I didn't know Bruno Mars was Hawaiian.
like you can kind of hear it in like some of his music. You can hear like ukuleles and stuff. It's my first Mexican beer on the island. Not bad. Not bad at all. Horrible lighting. Horrible lighting. That's life. <laughs>